Hi guys, welcome back to Recipes Recreated. So today, let's just make a pretty quick video because I'm just gonna do an intro and then I'll do some like snapshots and maybe a couple videos of making some homemade mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese, right? Um, and I think if I have leftovers, um, we can do another video another time and um, make mac and cheese bites, like fried mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's just make some homemade mac and cheese. And I typically like to do it with like what cheese I have on hand. And then I try to, you know, maybe pick up one or two other cheeses. Um, so it sometimes I, I use different cheeses. So today I think we're going to do um, extra sharp cheddar, some Colby Jack, um, some Havarti, and I'm going to throw in some um, cream cheese in there too. I've made it with Gruyere, I've made it with Asiago, so it just depends. I mean, it's mac and cheese, any kind of cheese is delicious. So anyway, that's what we're gonna use today. So just giving you a quick hi, a little intro, and I'm gonna give you some snapshots of it, and um, let's go. Okay, waiting for the water to boil so we can do the noodles. I'm just taking like a deep dish, uh, pie dish, because I'm only gonna do half. Um, of the recipe. So this recipe is going to be half. So if you want to make more for like, you know, family of four or six or whatever, um, just double it. Okay, it's so nice and creamy. So you want it to look like that. So we're gonna mix it with the noodles um, and then top it off with more cheese. Now you can mix like panko and some salt and paprika and you know make that as a topper if you want a crunch. Cause sometimes I like that, but today I'm not doing that. I just want more cheese. <laughs> it's all about the cheese today. There it is, fresh out the oven. Nice and bubbly and warm and cheesy. So good. <laughs> 